Hi guys, this is Dr. Komal and welcome to KC Science Talks. In this lesson, I am going to talk about vacuoles, their size, their composition and their diverse functions and we are starting right now. Guys, vacuoles are single membrane bound organelles which are found in most of the plant cells. Vacuoles are basically fluid filled vesicles which contain large amount of water and they may also contain other materials such as sugars, ions, pigments and this will become more clear to you once I discuss its functions. First let me show you how a vacuole looks like in a plant cell. Guys, vacuoles are usually large in size. They can occupy a major portion of the plant cell volume. This is the rough diagram of a plant cell. Here you can see that the vacuole can, is occupying a major portion of the plant cell volume. Vacuoles can occupy more than 30% of the plant cell volume and in some cases it can even occupy 90% of the plant cell volume. The reference image which I use for this diagram is this. This picture has been taken from Raven biology book. You can use this picture for your notes. Guys, I already told you that vacuoles are single membrane bound organelles and the membrane is called tonoplast. Okay. Now coming to its functions. Vacuoles can have so many functions inside a plant cell. In other words, their functions are really diverse. Here I have listed the functions. Vacuole can act as a storage organelle. Okay. They can also perform digestion and they also maintain hydrostatic pressure. And we will discuss these functions one by one. Now let us discuss its first function which is storage. Vacuole can act as a storage organelle for a variety of substances such as nutrients like sugars, amino acids, proteins, polysaccharides. They can also be used to store species specific substances. Species specific substances which are found in particular species. And the examples are rubber, opium, flavors of garlic, anthocyanin pigments which color the petals of flowers and noxious molecules which provide defense against predators. Okay. Now vacuoles can also be used to store byproducts or waste products of metabolic reactions byproducts and waste products of metabolic reactions. As plants lack the type of excretory system present in animals, they utilize their vacuoles to store these byproducts and waste products in order to isolate these products from the cell. Now coming to the second function of vacuoles which is digestion. Vacuoles are also sites of intracellular digestion in plant cells because they contain a variety of hydrolytic enzymes which can digest a number of substances. And this function of vacuoles relates it to lysosomes of animal cells. And if you want more information on lysosomes, you can watch my lecture on lysosomes link given in the description box of this video as well as in the i button right here. Now coming to the third function of vacuoles which is maintenance of turgid pressure or hydrostatic pressure inside the cell. Now how does it happen? The membrane of the vacuole is permeable to water but poorly permeable poorly permeable sorry 
permeable to the small molecules poorly permeable to the small molecules stored within it okay and because of this the solute concentration is higher inside the vacuole as compared to cytosol or extracellular fluid okay and because of this water enters the vacuole water enters the vacuole due to osmotic flow and this influx of water causes the vacuole to expand now this vacuole expands and the, because of this expansion a turgor is created inside the cell now this uh, the hydrostatic pressure this hydrostatic pressure pushes the cell membrane against the interior of the cell wall this pressure pushes the this is plasma membrane and this is cell wall so this because the vacuole expands this pressure pushes the plasma membrane against the interior of the cell wall and this makes the cell rigid okay this makes the cell rigid and this provides mechanical strength to the soft tissues of the plant and also helps in cell growth due to stretching of the cell wall lastly let's discuss how many vacuoles are present in a plant cell well the number is not fixed most of the plant cell contain at least one vacuole but some may contain more than one it all depends on the type of the plant cell and also on its stage of development as i already told that vacuoles can have so many functions so different vacuoles with distinct functions can be present in the same cell like one for storage and one for digestion so that's all about vacuoles i hope this topic is clear to you now please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and follow me on instagram because i share interesting content on biology thanks for watching bye bye